Once again, I'm recording way too late, so you get all the glare on my eyes. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Vita Day 8. Of course, it's April 8th, and my name is Artemidge. And today's topic just came to me randomly out of nowhere before I started recording. And that's just a curiosity on how some gaming communities get so abusive. I mean, most of my experience has been with the League of Legends community. In I started trying to play that game, and to say that I was harassed would be a drastic understatement. Uh, and I've spent time on Xbox Live, which is where a lot of people get the idea of there being nothing but foul-mouthed, racist, homophobic individuals on there. Which is, is fair to say that there are a number of people on there like that. I won't argue otherwise. But why are these particular communities so bad for that? The only place I can imagine is just a simple matter of population. League of Legends wasn't the first MOBA out there, but it was certainly the first one that wasn't a mod that really gained some traction. There were others out there at the time that I heard about passingly through other people because they were invested in them, but a lot of them gave those up because it's like everyone else is playing League. And after trying to get into League and finding the community just something where you couldn't learn from, I was just done. And spending time on Xbox Live, I've made a number of friends on there, just gaming people. It's a case of, we both play this game, we both play with similar skill levels, we're both decent people, and so there's a new Xbox Live friend. But it's not like there hasn't been people out there, it's just a case of being obnoxious, playing music over their headsets, just shouting racist slurs. Hell, my brothers I have got on more than one occasion just using racist and racial epitaphs as they play games for no real reason other than they feel they can. A good portion of that is just the whole anonymity of the internet in general, I imagine. But how it fosters growth on such a uh, particular community is beyond me. As I did say, it might just be a matter of popularity. These things were around early. They got the most head start, so more people started going there. And that just means eventually you wind up with more of the... We'll call them the dregs on there. Trying to be less insulting than they tend to be. But where what it really comes down to in a way that confuses me is why there isn't more action being taken by the people who oversee these things to deal with such people. Are, are these the kind of people you want representing your game or your online service? Uh, if we had that kind of a community in a tabletop game, you wouldn't have that community very long. And I've certainly been part of such a circumstance. For example, there was a store here in Hamilton where I used to go to regularly for Friday Night Magic. And I stopped going for a while out of a concern of fun. So this was uh, back when I was working a full-time job that considered full-time 11 to 15 hours a week. And then they let me go. And so I was without income for a while. Once I got myself back on my feet, started going there again, found out that everything there had changed. The person who used to work there primarily Friday evenings was no longer working there. The person who was was uh, one of those magic players who considered themselves above pretty much anyone else. And everyone who came was his friends who acted very much the same way. And so it just came very quickly on to, I don't want to be at the store anymore because of these people. And so I started going to different stores. That's had nothing to do with my leaving magic at any point. As I said, I've come and go forever. But it certainly did deter me from wanting to attend events where those kinds of people were known to show up. So that's all I've really got to talk about today. Uh, comparatively short one to other days, which might be a nice change of pace to some people. Uh, I have gotten the notice about how sometimes the music is overpowering. And I'm trying to work with that. Just Audacity is a very simplistic software, and so... I can only do so much, but hopefully you can hear me well enough today. Maybe I can do something in my mic position to help improve that. 
and I will talk to you all tomorrow.